What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about adding old items from the game. So old crown crate items, old daily login reward items, and placing those somehow in the game where they're earnable for players in the community to earn them in case they did not get them in previous years. And this was kind of brought up on the ESO forums on Reddit. It kind of started off by players talking about how they wish, uh, wish there was a witch mother's personality in the Halloween event. And the conversation kind of went on from there. And I thought it was a really great conversation the community was having because they started talking about how a lot of these events that we have in the Elder Scrolls Online have the same, you know, items each year with a couple new things added in, but never, you know, just a whole revamp of that event. I'm not sure if Zoss would ever just completely redo the event and put everything brand new in there. But the idea of adding older things from your daily login rewards or adding older things from the crates that have been kind of shelved or, you know, we haven't seen in years, adding those in as rewards for events would not be a bad idea. And I think it could be done if Zoss would handle it correctly, because I know a lot of people would be upset considering they may have had to purchase this years ago. But kind of the way I look at it is if you purchase something three, four, five years ago, something we haven't seen in the game in the Crown Store in a really long time, you've had that item for a really long time compared to players, you know, that have had to wait until, you know, maybe it was added into the game to where they could get it from just playing. I still don't think this would hurt um, Zoss's revenue stream when it comes to, you know, buying things from the Crown Store. I still think if players want something, they're going to buy it right then. If, you know, if Zoss said, all right, well, if you don't buy this now, at some point, we're going to give it out as a reward in game, but it's going to be years down the line. I don't think many players would say, well, if I want this, I'm just going to wait. Most players would just go ahead and purchase it then. But I do think adding some of these older items in, like I said, I thought this was a great discussion. Adding these older items in to allow players that maybe didn't have a chance to get them then, or maybe players, you know, just didn't get them at that point, and having them in the game to whether it be uh, you know, something that you can get during an event or whatever the case may be is probably a really good idea. And I think the real issue, the reason that a lot of people are talking about this is the earnable kind of content uh, look at the game is kind of lacking in a lot of people's minds. Like I said, kind of at the start, considering a lot of these events, we'll get one or two new items, maybe three at the most. But the majority of things that we have available to us during an event is something we've had each year. And a lot of people feel like now it's not really uh, where in the past maybe they would hop in and, and log in and play some during an event. Only if, you know, went in and got their tickets, you know, did the stuff for the event and that was it. That's all they played that day. Now a lot of people feel like it's not even worth it to them considering for just a couple new items they may or may not like. And I do think Zoss could handle this a little bit differently. And I do think the suggestion the community is making by saying you could add some older items in that we've had in previous years as login rewards and or as crown crate items that we haven't seen in the game in a really long time would be a very unique thing they could do. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to add, you know, like maybe some Radiant Apex we haven't seen in years, but like some maybe some different personalities or, or you know, just player skins or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, some of those items that are really cool, but maybe not the best rewards you could possibly get from the crown store. But adding some of those things in as rewards for events or rewards that you could just earn in game somehow would, I think, really make the community happy. Considering, like I said, this kind of started off as just a conversation about, you know, a, a witch's personality for the event, which I think would be a fabulous idea. But like I said, it kind of just went from there and the community started talking about how they're somewhat disappointed with what goes on when it comes to the amount of rewards you get during events or the amount of rewards you can earn in game without having to purchase them. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.